And just like every end of the week, we're going to enjoy the story of the best Israeli wineries with our TV's Wine of the Week. And for this week's wine pick, we're focusing on the Nana Estate Winery nestled in Mitzpah Ramon's upper section along the Tsin River. The vineyard enjoys an ideal location at 800 meters above sea level. Iran Raz, also known as Nana, a skilled viticulturist, has played a crucial role in the vineyard's success by carefully matching grape varieties and cultivation methods to the unique terroir and desert climate. And joining us now in studio is CEO and co-owner of the Nana Estate Winery, Liban Yehuda. Hi, Lee, how are you doing today? Hi, good. Nice to, have, nice to be here. Pleasure having you with us. Now, before we dive into the wine of the week, I'm really interested in hearing more about the unique terroir. I mean, Mitzpah Ramon, not the first place you think of, of growing wine. I mean, vineyard, I mean, having vineyards, it's a really hot climate, desert climate. What more can you tell us about it? So a lot of people think that Mitzpah Ramon is very not uh, appropriate for growing wine or growing any kind of agriculture. And actually, the climate there is pretty different than what you would think. First of all, it's very dry. That means there is a lot less um, percentage of diseases, so we need to spray less uh, to um, not to have all kinds of fungi on the grapes and everything. And also, we are located 800 meters um, above sea level. Yes, yeah, so we get a cool breeze. Very, very hot during the day, very cool during the night. We could get to August at like 15, 16 degrees Celsius. So that's In very cool. Yeah. Wow. So okay. that's yeah. interesting. Ideal climate. Ideal climate. Ideal climate. Yes. Now, what did you bring us today? What's the wine of the week? So we have Cassiopeia here. Cassiopeia is actually Syrah, uh, one of the uh, varieties that grow best in Mitzpah Ramon. It really, really likes the desert. It likes the hot heat. Uh, one of our best selling wines. And I think that it showcases Mitzpah Ramon and the desert very nicely. That's nice. Now, I want to ask you personally, we don't see a lot of women in the industry, <laughs> in the business, in the wine industry. How did you actually get into the business first? And I mean, how is it really being a woman in a, in a men's world? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, it is a little bit of a men's world. Um, but first of all, my family is partners with the, with the Iran Raz and his family. We have vineyards in California and in Costa Rica as well. So we're a little bit in the wine world even before we wow. started um, working together with Nana in 2015. Um, and, you know, being a woman everywhere can be difficult. You just have to kind of stand your ground. Um, I like to learn a lot, so I'm very knowledgeable about everything uh, concerning wine and the wine world. And I don't think everyone or anyone sees a difference between me and a guy being the CEO of the company. That's really, really impressive. Now, what more can you tell us about the production of your wine in the winery? How does it work, the process itself? So we, uh, first of all, we harvest only the grapes that we grow. We don't buy any grapes from anywhere. We have two vineyards. Well, we have one vineyard that we harvest from now. Um, it's around 100 dunam a vineyard. We have um, around six varieties there now. And we planted new vineyards really close by. Uh, we planted 60 more dunam and we planted a very large range of varieties. So we're going to have some surprises um, from the harvest of 2024. Um, and we the process of the wine, well, now we don't, we still didn't build the winery. That's in the process. We're hoping it would be built till 2024 as well when, he, when we make the big leap. Um, today we produce 90,000 bottles, just so you know. Wow. The leap will be to around 140,000 bottles. By when? 2024. 2024. Yeah. So now we work at a, a different winery. They give us the service of, you know, like a, a service winery. Yes. Uh, the equipment there is ours. The winemakers there are ours. And we just make the wine there. Lee, that's really impressive. Definitely worth paying a visit. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me.